All right, today I want to talk about how you can use the geocoding API with Google Maps and specifically to reverse geocoding. Now, geocoding is the process of taking an address or a location and then sending that to the API and getting back a latitude and a longitude. Reverse geocoding is, as the name implies, taking the latitude and longitude and sending that in to the API and you get back an address. So we're going to look at how to do that. Now, if you haven't worked with the Google Maps APIs yet, I have another video, which is getting started with Google Maps API, where I talk about how to configure and set up the keys and get that all started off. So I'll provide the link to this video um, down in the description for you. So if you haven't set that up, you can watch this first. But if you're looking for some help to set up the API account and the billing and all that stuff, uh, that other video is going to help you out. All right, let's jump into the code here. So we're going to do reverse geocoding. We're going to assume that you've used the HTML5 geolocation API. You've got the person's latitude and longitude. And now from that latitude and longitude, you want to write some information out about the location. So I've got a key that I created just for this video. Um, I've got just a latitude and longitude. It's right in the middle of Manitoba. We've got... Uh, if you don't know Manitoba, Manitoba is uh, sort of the central province in the middle of Canada. So the Maps Google API, this is the API that we're talking about. And then specifically, we're looking at the geocode API within that collection of APIs. So this is the URL that you want, and you need to provide it three things, a latitude, a longitude, which is what I defined here with just a very uh, generic one, then a key. And this is the key that I generated just for this example. You'll have to get your own key for this code to work. This is not going to work for you. This key will be gone by the time you watch this video. All right. So what I'm going to do with this URL is I just have to make an Ajax request. I have to make a fetch call to that address. So we'll say fetch URL. And then like all fetch requests, the first thing that comes back is going to be the response object we have to then take the response object and turn that into an actual JSON object from the string that we get back. So we're going to say the response and we're going to call the JSON method belonging to the response object that will convert or extract from the response object the JSON data and give us an actual JavaScript object that we can work with. That'll pass it along to the next then method. Inside of here, we're going to have a variable. I'm going to call it data. We can call it anything at all. This is just a variable name. So this is the actual JavaScript object that came back from this API. Inside of here, we have a data object. Now I'm just going to console log that just to show you what we get in, uh, in its entirety. And we always want to have a catch on the end of there where we would, if there was a problem, we'll console warn whatever the error message is. There we go. All right, so I've set the page up. We'll jump back in here. And here is the response. So we have inside of here um, some plus code, which gives us sort of a, a unique identifier for the location and then the last three parts of the address. So the uh, closest locality, the province, and uh, the country. We have in the results, this is where the majority of stuff that we want. If you've got status OK, you know that everything worked. But inside the results, this is where the majority of the stuff is that we want to have. You can see it's an array. It's got here seven parts. And the first one, there's address components. Inside of address components, We've got a bunch, again, seven of them with long name, short name, and then types. Types is an array. So let's look at the, uh, let's look at the country first of all. That'll be an easy one to look at. So inside of here, where we have something with types, country, and political. So this is the key right here, this country. We're going to be looking for that string. If this thing is included in the array types, inside of one of these address components, then that's what I want. I'm looking to write out the country. I would go for this. So let's do that one first of all, and then we'll come back and look at some of the others. So instead of just writing out all of the data, 
I want to put it up here inside the body. So we're going to say that data dot results number zero. So like we said in here, results is an array. There's actually a bunch of different ones. You can see there's different ways of describing different places. If you're um, Sometimes you'll have a place out in the country, there'll be a bunch of small towns in the area that you're looking at, and the latitude and longitude that I passed in were not very specific. It's fairly a large, a fairly large area. So there's a whole bunch of different possible ways that this address could be written out, and that's what these are. I'm just going to go to the first one. It's got the biggest array. It's got the most information. So I want results number zero inside of data. And that's what we have here, data.results number zero. That is the first set of results that came back from our latitude and longitude request. Now inside of that, there's address components. You can see right here, address components. That is the name of this array. And inside of here, well, number five is the one with the country, but I don't necessarily know that number five is the country one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of this, this array, into another variable that I can just use a lot easier than writing that whole thing out. So parts dot for each, we're going to loop through all of this and we'll look at each one of the parts individually. So I'm going to use an arrow function here and I'm going to loop through and look at each one of the parts inside of this array address components. And if part dot types, let's take a look at that inside of here. Here's part zero, part one, each one of these objects right here, that is one of the values that will be stored in that variable part. Right here, part will be each one of those objects. So inside of part, we're going to find types. And if inside of types, we can find the string that says country, we know we've got the right one. So if part.types, which is an array, so we can call the includes method, and we're looking for country. This method includes is going to just give us back a true or false. So that means we found country inside the all this dot um, types array. So we are in address components number zero or whatever that number is types array. So inside of types, we found the word country. And if we did, then we're going to write that out inside the body. So let's uh, just keep a simple document dot body. We'll say insert adjacent HTML. That'll work. And before end, so right down at the bottom of the body, after the header, we're going to inject this actually, but after the script tag as well, we're going to inject some HTML. And let's say it's going to be a paragraph. And inside that paragraph, we're going to say country, and then we'll write out the value of this variable. But I don't want to write country. What I want to get right here is the long name. So types and long name, they're at the same level inside of this. So we're looking at the part. Part is this whole object right here. I want part dot long name. That's going to give me this. So you can see results zero dot address components number five dot long name. That's the part that I want. So we're going to inside of here. I'm using a template string so that I can inject my variable directly. And it's going to be part dot long name. All right, so we'll save that. So we're inserting before the end of the body tag, a paragraph with that. And there it is, country, Canada. And we can repeat this process with any other parts that we want. So number five, I'm oh, sorry, uh, inside of here, inside the address components, number five was the country. Number four is the province. So that's going to be called Administrative Area Level 1. It's a <laughs> long title, but that's what 
most of the parts of the address are going to be called. So if part.types includes, and that's the part I'm looking for, this will be my province. And I'm going to do the same thing as I did right here. I'm going to inject the long name. And it's not going to be country, it'll be province. There we go, province, country. And you can just continue on like this with as many of these parts as you want. So we could say number two or number three. There's a level two and a level three. Um, I'll just say level three is the part that I'm writing out. There, Rockwood. Level two, what would that one be? Division number 14. So we have all these different parts of the address that we can write out. Or if you don't want to pick and choose and go through all the different pieces, we do also have that inside the results here. There we go. There's a place ID and there's a formatted address. So this may be what you want. So let's take formatted address. That's going to be directly inside of part. So we're going to just do the insert here at the very end. And we're going to write out the formatted address inside of results, number zero, formatted address. And, oh, sorry, we don't have to be inside the loop to do this part. Let's just come back up here. We want this dot formatted address because it's one level higher. So we're going to be inserting the word formatted and then inside of results, the first set of results, we want to get the formatted address and sort of that's the what we're looping through here to get all the different parts. And there we are. So this is the formatted address for that latitude and longitude. Here's three of the different parts for that address. But that's it. That's how this uh, geolocation or the reverse geolocation API works. So you can pass in a latitude and longitude. You can pass in an address to get back the latitude and longitude. All right. So hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. As I said before, I will leave a link to the other video where I talked about how to set up the API account if that's what you're looking for. All right. As always, thanks for watching.